Welcome back. So now we have our nav bar right here, which is perfect. It looks cool, but I want more. I want kind of have a side nav bar like we're seeing here on Dropbox. I want something like this. So we're going to add that this lesson. And the way we're going to do it is we're going to go into Angular Material, uh, Material Angle I.O. to be more precise. We're going to go into Components, Navigation, and Side nav Bar right here. Now here we have some examples on how a Side nav Bar could look. Let me just try and explain to you what it's going to be all about. We're going to add this container right here, the Side nav Container. And inside that we're going to have two different ones. We're going to have the Side nav Bar, which is going to be kind of this guy over here. And then we are going to have the content, which is pretty much going to be everything over here, right? So that's kind of what we're going to do. Now let's just start by adding this to our code right here. So I'll just copy all of this. And again, if you didn't see it, you can just go to basic side nav and press the small view source here. And then you can just copy all of this. And I'll take it and I'll jump into my um, beautiful app component HTML file here and I'll just paste it in. Now the first thing you'll notice is probably that we're going to get an error right here. It looks red. Now why is that the case? You should know that by now because we missed the module. So let's add this module. I'll jump into my add module right here and I'll add the mat side nav module. There we go. Now that module is available. That should also mean that this guy will stop showing me red stuff. Now I can just start out by cleaning up some stuff here because all I want is pretty much just a class that's going to be main container. And then I want the side nav just like this where it says um, I want it to be the side nav. And yes, let's just keep it open for now. And let's just write this is the side nav for now. We'll get more into this in the next couple of lessons. Now the main content in my side nav is actually going to be the route outlet. Because that's where all the content is going to be posted in my application. Now we're going to make a few changes when we get to log in. But this is what we're going to do for now. So let's try and add this here and see what happens. Jumping back to my code to see if we have a side navigation bar. And look at that, we have something here. There's no borders or anything, so it's kind of hard to see. But right now we're grabbing all, all this space. If you guys want to see just a small example here, if I just go in here and say that this guy will be uh, false, then the side nav bar just goes away, right? So I'll just put it back to being the way it is and the side nav bar will pop back. We'll use that later to kind of make um, navigation is different depending on what page we're on and maybe there's a side nav bar, maybe there isn't, stuff like that. So we'll get back to that later. But this is all we had to do. Now we have side nav bar. But right now if I just move around here, you'll see that this side nav bar is not all the way out there. There's a small margin all over my application. The same with this, it doesn't go all the way down the content and I wanted to grab all space right now. So well, let's just change that before we actually end this lesson. Now step one is I'm going to go into my style CSS main file right here and we're going to add something about the HTML and the body in here. Now for the HTML and the body we're going to add a few pieces of information. First of all we're going to explain that we don't want any margins anymore. So margins will be zero, right? Zero pixel and let's just make that an important statement meaning that we really want this to happen. So let's just go back and check out our application. Now you'll notice this is going all the way to the edge now, right? So we just removed all those margins from our site nav. One more thing, we want this to have full height and you can do that in a few different ways. Some are using percentage. I'll use the one called 100 um, and then I'll say vertical height like this and then it'll pretty much just go and grab all the space. Now we can't see that yet but you'll notice that when I go in now and make one more thing and that's making the entire container full size, you'll actually see it grabbing all the space. So I'm just going to keep this guy, the virtual height one. I'm jumping into my app component CSS file right here. And then remember in here I had a, a class called main container for the actual side nav bar. So I'm going to go into the CSS and make a main container right here. And there I'm just going to give that full height as well basic CSS stuff and there we go. Now you'll notice that the content now grabs all the space and if I mouse over the side nav you'll also see that gets all the space. So we kind of just filled up our entire space and then we can start adding margins later if you want to. But that's it for now. Now you guys have a side nav bar, you have a toolbar and we have a content area so everything is ready to move forward. See you next time.